Hey there. Uh, I'm going to do a little breakdown tutorial of our exploration of the arm lines, the myofascial continuities of the upper body. Uh, the fascia is essentially, it's another word for connective tissue. Um, our fascial system runs throughout our entire body, kind of like a full body stocking that has all these little um, flings and pockets for our organs to fit into. The fascia uh, brings compression to the body. So where our bones are like the scaffolding of the body, the fascia is what gives the shape of our uh, muscles, fluid system around the bones. The bones technically are also a variation of connective tissue. Um, and anyway, if you want to learn more about fascia, look it up. Uh, there's a great book called Anatomy Trains by Thomas Myers that you might want to check out. Um, and in fact, let's look at an image from Anatomy Trains. So this here uh, is a picture of the arm line. So we've got the deep front arm line starting in the kind of upper chest, running through to the thumb and then the superficial, more close to the surface, along the pecs, down through the fingers. Uh, the idea being that there's uh, various muscles and connective tissue that have this similar kind of flow. And then we go deep back arm line from here, the back of the neck, through the rotator cuff, into the pinky side of the arm, and then a little more superficial, the traps, upper, mid, lower, deltoid, down to the fingertips. So we will be using all those myofascial continuities in a way to warm up or cool down after or before whatever exercise, daily functional activities, dance, um, whatever you're going to be doing where you'd like to have a little more freedom and availability awareness in your upper body. In fact, one of the things that's awesome about this sequence is that it really incorporates the whole body. So that's one of the ways we train our fascia. We move three-dimensionally and also we uh, use the integration of the whole kinetic chain uh, along with coordinated breathing, awareness of posture, being more in the present moment uh, so my hope with this kind of breakdown video is that you can get more confident about the five uh, exercises that we are going to do so that you can move on to the flow video and just move right through. So ultimately, it should take maybe about 10 minutes to get through the whole sequence. Um, I'm going to do one side in this video, and then if you want to follow the tutorial again, just repeat. Uh, just skip over this talking part and repeat on the other side. Okay, so first thing, what you need is a band. And that's, that's the only prop you'll need. You don't even need a mat because this is all standing. I'm going to take my band and wrap it around to make a loop. Make it just big enough for your hand to fit through comfortably. And then you take the flag, the shorter end of the band, and wrap it around the long end, and then thread it through that notch to make a knot. And check that it's going to stay in place throughout. All right. So then after that, the first move is called the pull start. And you want to step on the long end of the band with the opposite foot. Have your feet a little bit staggered, a kind of mini lunge here. And I start with my arm straight out, my palm up. And then you just rotate, spiral the hand and the elbow up. So see how my palm is going forward. And then I spiral my arm back down and reach out. So that's the first layer of the pull start. You think of a kind of um, lawnmower lawnmower pull start. So now we can add, make it a little more dynamic by shifting our weight forward and back. It's also how we start to get into using the whole kinetic chain. And then we can add on from here, let's find our awareness of our posture. So right now I've got neutral spine and I'm just shifting forward and back. I'm gonna rotate and extend 
extend my upper back and then I rotate and reach forward and just come back to neutral. So when I spiral back and lift my sternum, I'm not overarching in the low back. I'm keeping my tail straight down. And then we can also add on a little pulse, pulse, a little bounce at the top. Fascia likes a little bounce. And I'm doing my best to get my elbow way up there, my palm forward. Let's do one more of those. And down. That's the pull start. So the second exercise is called the paddler. And I'm going to hook my thumb through the loop of the band. And when I reach back, I'm really spreading my palm and reaching through my fingers to open up that palmar fascia. So the opposite arm is going to act kind of as an anchor. It's called the paddler. So we can think of this as a paddle or imagine it's like a dowel rod or something uh, just a little wider than shoulder distance. And then I'm going to keep my feet so they're a little wider than hip distance and parallel toes and knees straight ahead. I reach my arms up overhead and then rotate around to the back, spiraling around the axis of the spine. Now the front arm is going to stay like the anchor. The back arm reaches back and down. And then I come back up and center. So this is the first part of the exercise. Here's from the side. I'm rotating around. I reach back, spread the palm, and then come back. A few more. We're going to change the angle of pull each time. And I can think of being neutral spine, or I can add a little lift in my sternum, a little extension, and you can track the hand with your eyes. Let's add on the second part. So after the twist, I rotate back around and then swing my arms down and up. Let's do that a few times. See, my knees bend, bend. So you can make it a little bouncier. I bounce, then bounce. Back and front. And now put it together, rotate, reach back and down, and then spiral around, bounce, bounce, and up. Yep, da, 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 yep, da. Changing the angle each time. Maybe I purposefully flex and extend. Flexion as we come around and down, extension as we look up and back. And keep that anchor arm, that wrist, nice and straight and strong. Okay, so that's the paddler. That's number two. Now, hand back through the loop. This time, you're going to take the band behind your back. And again, I can start with it a similar kind of distance. I'm not looking for a lot of tension on the band. The band should be long enough that it can be fairly, not slack, but not really taut either. So for this one, feet again are a little wider. You can be parallel or turned out. I'm going to start with my hand in the loop up, palm up, and then I pull across and rotate my hand, the palm back, and reach my fingertips towards the bottom angle of the opposite shoulder blade. So this one's called the back scratcher. So I get that hand as if I'm trying to touch the opposite shoulder blade to open up that front arm line. And now we can add the legs, the whole body in. So I'm shifting my weight side to side. And you can work with spiraling the hand, the arm, head is balanced, back in line with your spine. I'm staying vertical, I'm not leaning forward. I'm shifting and leaning side to side. All right, the back scratcher. Now the puppet, oh, so the band stays behind your back for the puppet, but we anchor the band from around the back with the hand here on the hip crease there. The other arm, I take up like a cactus goalpost and notice how the band is behind my arm. So the first part of this, well, oh, and my feet are wide and turned out. So I'm in a kind of horsey stance. You can start with the legs straight. 
first thing, just rotate the arm forward and back. See how I'm pivoting the arm bone in the shoulder socket. The long bone of the arm stays pretty much on the same plane. So getting into that rotator cuff. And then I can add on a curling of the upper back and then back up. So I'm keeping my lower back and my pelvis neutral, tail reaching down and just curling through my thoracic spine and cervical spine. Now I add the legs, plie, sit down and come back up. One more, just that much. Now, second part, this one's this exercise is called the puppet. So now second part of the puppet is I reach back, turn my palm up, look back, and you can choose, am I neutral or am I extending, but no scrunching in the lower back. And then you're gonna rotate around, palm up, look the other way. So let's just do that much. Sweep the arm back and front and make it fairly quick, a bit of a kind of whip-like motion or a throwing motion. And we can add the legs in now. So now the back foot, that heel comes up, I pivot into a lunge. And then I come back around, look back, pivot on the ball of the foot, bend that knee, and then back. The eyes tracking your hand. So now the full expression of the puppet. I start here, legs turned out. I curl, bend, reach back, look back, and then twist across. Flex, reach, and pivot. One more. The puppet. Da, da, da. All right, now the band comes in front. Give that a wiggle. And this one's called the diagonal slice. So we're working our way through all those lines of connective tissue. Now I'm anchoring from the front now with my arm up and the same side foot as the hand in the loop goes behind. We're gonna do a little curtsy squat and see how I'm really stretching through my fingers, spreading my palm. If you're having balance, kind of wobbly balance, you can take the foot more uh, off to the side rather than way behind you. So you adjust your stance as you need. We're gonna slice down, curtsy squat, and then reach up. So this is just the first part. Diagonal slice, my arm stays straight throughout. The band will go slack as you come across. And then you can add on at the top, rotating back and down. You can also add a little bounce pulse up and back. And I've got that front foot, the tripod of that foot grounded, the back foot, my heel is up. I'm on the ball of my foot. Yep, da, 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 da. Aha. All right, diagonal slice. After that, just drop the band, do a little consumer comparison, fanning your arms out to the sides, <sighs> maybe some circles, and just notice the difference from one shoulder to the other. Should feel freer, more open, a little more clarity of sensation. That's one of the things about the fascial system is it holds uh, all of our sensory organs so that we know where our body is in space. We can sense different amounts of pressure, frictioning, all that through the connective tissue, the fascia. All right, my friends. So um, do that on the other side. Just repeat this video. <laughs> and then once you feel more confident about all the pieces, you can move on to the flow video. Uh, all right. Have a good day.